so I knew the the route is hard, but I was like, no, it's still doable with a gravel bike. You don't really know what's out there in the wilderness and in Lapland, the wilderness areas are massive. It's an interesting situation right now. The plan is we start from here in Ullas and then we ride all the way to Alta through the Arctic Pass Road. The goal is to make it to Alta by Friday when your flight leaves. Yeah. I'm Henna. I'm this mini mini adventurer. Like I just like being outdoors. <laughs> so I am Sami Sauri, I come from Spain and I ride bikes. God damn it! <laughs> Arctic Post Road is an old post road, off road route from Lesbian to Alta Norway. So it's there's a couple options. So there is a gravel version, which is like 410Ks, and then there's the mountain bike options, which is 430 k's. Yes, our Arctic Post Road, uh, we kind of made our own version. Like the mountain bike route is quite rough at some bits and I knew that beforehand. So we are combining, we're combining the mountain bike route, but then we're also doing the part of the gravel route. So basically, if the gravel route goes in a road, we're gonna, gonna ride it. We go then on the mountain bike route and rather do like low bay hike a bike that because we both just don't like riding on the road. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> Look, I have a bird. <laughs> I I basically came here with not even looking at the map. To be honest, I said to Hannah um, that she will take care of these things because it was kind of my holidays and I felt like I just didn't want to know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> cozy! <laughs> the first day was tricky because we had to... There was gravel roads but we had to ride quite a lot on the road because there was a rougher bit on a mountain bike route and then the gravel route went on the road. So it was an easy day, but it was still 110k, so it was a long, long day anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I started bikepacking in 2020, so this is just my, like, third year or like third summer of riding bikes so I'm quite new. Before that like I did track and field for like 14 years and I got I was like done with like competing after I quit was just like I want to do things that are fun and like have fun out there like I like to do physical stuff that puts you a little bit on the limit but same time like it still needs to be fun like kind of be free to go where you want to go. Because in track and field, you're running around the same track. But with a bike, like, now we're riding from Ullas to Alta, like, the world is open to you, basically, when you're riding with a bike. Let's maybe put that up first, and then yeah. we go for a, like, swim. But it's really fast one to book.
On the second day, we got on the mountain bike route and it was definitely rougher and slower. Somehow it took us ages to ride that day to get through the first bit that was from here they are with the Hetta. Well, it is a hiking trail officially, so it's not even officially a mountain bike trail. So, and you could definitely see it at certain bits. I like the roughness. Uh, sometimes it gets a bit annoying because it's slow and you also are in the middle of nowhere and you also have to plan not just like the slowness, but also the food and drink. Yeah, I didn't expect at all this steep rock climbs and some roller across the hills and just not seeing anybody for many kilometers. We were able to ride it pretty well. Obviously, when there's a climb with a lot of rocks, it's like either you would need to be like crazy fit to be able to ride it up or then just like super good at like mountain biking. On the top, I won. <laughs> but other than that, like the views were amazing. Like I definitely recommend still doing that bit, but just being prepared to have a tiny bit more time to it. Because on the second day, like that wasn't the only part we did. We just kept going from Hetta to Nakala, which is another rough bit, like rough rocky trail and we were cooked by the end of the day. Look at this soil, it's... Yep. We slept well, but it was it was quite stormy somehow. Even though we're not even in that like windy spot. Oh not the nicest weather to get out there. Definitely not. The weather in Spain is right now like very hot. It's uh, 40 degrees Celsius and compared to here, which maybe it arrives to the maximum of 17. That's the thing I like, that's the maximum I actually saw on the entire route. It's not a bit like freezing cold in terms of like you can still ride on shorts, but you know, it's kind of like not the Spanish weather for sure. I don't think I even got tan. I got more white than I was. <laughs> Oh my god. Here. Is there a way there? It's an interesting situation right now. Hopefully that one holds. <laughs> if it doesn't, it's gonna be tight. Sorry, swimming. <laughs> this is the way for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we are on the red. That explains a lot of things. 55 minutes, 8 kilometers. Getting better. Can you believe it? Yesterday was 4 kilometers in 40 minutes. No, yeah, that, 50 minutes. It's better now, like when it's not wet, we can ride. <laughs> Yesterday it was just rock. Clean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I think the most surprising part has been like how long can a gravel path take before you see a house or a place until you see it again. Like it was endless hours on the bike and endless kilometers that we didn't have like seen anybody or anything or even an animal or even a bird like nothing <laughs> yeah i definitely need to put the shorts up though han han ska komma back Komma tillbaka med nej, nej, gras. Nej, nej. <laughs> nej. Det är inte stans och det är unväntigt för mig. Ah, ah, that you would be the hunter, yes. <laughs> I would say the best part of that day was when we arrived to the fjällstua and there was this family just been like, oh, hey, like, what are you doing here? Like, come, come get a coffee with us. And they made us some, like, Salmon sandwiches and brown cheese sandwiches and reindeer thong and like all these local treats. So that was, that definitely made it better because we had spent like already five hours in the middle of nowhere without seeing anybody out there. So it was really nice to have this family there. On these trips, the days can like, it feels like it's been ages from some of the things, even though it happened like yesterday or the day before. Somehow your mind is in like different mode. We started the day with the mountain bike route uh, to get off the, off the city without like riding on the road. So we did the beginning on that. And then we got on the, the world's longest straight no not really but it was a long straight gravel road going from Caudogeno to Alta but it was it was a nice nice road like then like the view started to open up and we started getting these Norwegian like fjell, fjell views so that that bit got really nice but there was a lot of puddles still from the rain so definitely no dry feed from, from that after that day either. It's gonna be boiling, but yeah, that's gonna be. <laughs> we started the route, and it was just perfect packed gravel a little bit less water finally and a lot of deers like it was just like wonderland of deers uh, the views have been amazing we can see a couple snow peaks randomly like out there um, but yeah this it has been so far so good cycling gives you the like a very nice way of seeing the world it goes through your own power so you're the one who make the rules and make your your way through it and that sort of gives this like open door to like adventure what we call so do you like you race with the with these dogs yes, so i haven't raced them yet yeah uh, but both her and her and him have yeah. raced the finnmark level before so this year is going to be our first race together i've been really really stuck into cycling since many years and I think that's what it drives me more. I now discovered Finland and Norway thanks to cycling so it's pretty cool. <laughs> the final dinner 
So we put ginger in it. <laughs> so we're in it. Our own version of Arctic Post Road is done. This is done. The best version of it. A mix of. Tuk 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 tuk